Hey guys, this is Noel on PC, on the computers, and today we are playing day eight, I think, of the Kerbal Space Program's career mode. So, Kerbal Knots, what we haven't done yet is like a satellite. All planets need some kind of like telecoms, especially if you're, if, the, if you're throwing things into space, you probably have satellites already. Our planet doesn't have satellites already, so I thought maybe we should, maybe we should make one. Um, so we have a couple of options for body, it looks like. Oh, we got the tiny brick. We got the little brick, okay. We got lander. No, we got two of them. Okay, so we got the brick and we got the dot. The brick and the dot. Uh, dot's kind of cool, you can put refractive sides all the way around it. Sputnik's kind of cool though too. It looks like a person, put eyes on it. Done, okay. So, stay put, Nick. Ha <laughs> the stay put, Nick. All right, that's funny shit. Um, an inline reaction wheel? No, that's huge. That's embarrassing. Eyes? Gold. How am I supposed to draw a face on this? This is impossible. What? What's, what's going on? Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Oh god. Oh god, get out of here. Okay, fuck the mouth. Fuck it. This is a mouth and Z. actually need RCS, aren't I? Works for me. Okay. Um, we're going to need a body. Obviously, for science-y purposes, it should be something like that. We're going to need a body. We're going to need that. for like solar panels and all that glorious shit. All the shiny goods. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. So those don't need to be there. They could be literally anywhere. should work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. This game doesn't follow any true sense of... Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. It's definitely a simulator, but there are things that don't make sense in this. This is definitely one of them. And I can prove it. We'll rig this up and we'll test it. Badass. Those are nicely tucked out of the way. Okay. We're just going to launch, and we're going to see if that RCS functions. It's always good to test your shit, right? I say that all the time. This is why. Test yo shit. Because you don't want to put it in space and then be like, fuck, that whatever is blocking the door or something, you know? It's fucking annoying as hell. See? See, like, that shouldn't work. They're just... They're not even connected to the, the tank at all. They, should, they need airlines. That's what they need, like... A system where you have to just at least tell it, hey, I'd like some airlines between there, and then it just, you know, does that all automatically or something. Okay, so we got the sciencey shit. We need the comms. We definitely need the comms. Communications. with that these things doubling in the past but it's working today of course because we're recording things always go right when you're recording 
Alright, so again, I'm gonna put this shit on the inside. Oh wait, I have this one, don't I? 200, yeah, fuck it. See, the nice thing about these kind of things is you can kind of hide them. You can kind of sometimes trick the game into putting them in funny places. Nope, that's all right. Look on the end here. And maybe on the inside. Yep, apparently in the RCS tank. Like, again, like that makes any fucking sense. But you don't argue, because it's fantastic. Shit. Control Z. What? Just remove that. Didn't want to do all that. You son of a bitch. If I start with the inside. Come on. Come on. Jump on it. Jump on it. Nope. Fucking fine. Oh, it didn't put one on the other side though. Sometimes if it, you think it works like that, fuck, check the other side, because it probably didn't work. God damn, this is getting complicated. Ugh. This is the worst. Yeah, I don't care. Is that good enough? Yeah, fuck it. All right, I control Z enough, and the game was like, "All right, just give him this one." He's gonna fucking cry if you don't. I wasn't gonna cry. Okay, I'm just gonna start swaddling them down the way, one after the other. Oh. In a couple of days. I'm not used to the controls. If you don't use it, you lose it. Again, we got a test that these satellite dishes here are actually going to go up through the solar panels. Because again, you don't want to get up there and then blow off half your solar panels and end up in a losing energy situation. Alright, uh, yeah, like that. Oh, no, because then I'll get points. I don't want to get points unless we're actually doing science. It's not science unless it's legitimate science. Yeah, that seemed to work fine. All right, let's extend the other one. This is what it's gonna look like floating in the idols of space. That is hideous, but it works. Huzzah. It's always good when things work. It's always good when things work the first time, I should say. Okay, now. Highlight multiple items. I'm sure there is a way. I just fuck. I don't know. Shit. God damn it. Okay. Not fucking around. Oh, of course, I can't really put them on the side here. Um, put them on the bottom, just because it's going to be in the voids of space. So there's a high probability that. Uh, Sun can be kind of, you know, in any direction. It's the beauty of space. There is no up. Well, I mean, there's, a, there's probably an up. Like, if you were traveling forward, you know, you'd be like, above us, and people would know to look. To look up. And now we're just arguing semantics. Okay, there we go. All right, it's ugly, but it gets the job done. Are we missing anything? Are we missing anything? Got all that stuff? We got batteries, check, solar, check, the lights, sure. Why not?
Yay. Awesome. Okay. So the big, the big ball will be lit up. Yeah, check. That's, uh... Oh, what direction don't we have? Forward and backwards. Hmm. See, the problem right now is the RCS point in pretty much every direction, except left to right. There's no, um, none of these jets fire out that way. So that's that's going to be a problem to make, that kind of lateral force. Let's see, maybe I can do that. All right, let's test it. Let's test it. You always, always test it. So we want RCS on. And we want to try and move laterally. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, and the other one works. Good. Good. Okay. Huzzah! Everything is working. That's fucking weird. Um, all right. Now, in order to actually actually launch this thing, we're not really going to need a whole lot of oomph, you know? So let's even go, little guy. Nuclear. It's just going to be that last little, you know, the last little corrections and, of course, stuff. Um, where'd it go? There it is. Do like one of those. Do one of those. Do one of those. Yeah. Yeah. not going to take much so even this is like super overkill but it's kind of how we do things here if you've tuned in you, you know what I'm talking about the experimental research division goes big or goes home and oftentimes it goes home in failure hiding down there. Okay, I don't know why it's a single one. Okay, that's that's hideous. Oh god, that is so phallic. Ugly. Um, but it's definitely going to get us into space. Okay, so those go. Could probably even save the big canister. I bet you that thing will fly st straight true. Alright. Beauty. Fins. Fins. Otherwise this thing is just gonna go all wonky. Beauty. Okay. I just heard a parade go by outside. That's fucking weird. It's a Santa Claus parade today. Yeah, that should do. So rockets fire, that goes. That goes before those go, obviously. Yep, that works. Okay, so here we go. We have built a Sputnik, a Stay Putnik, and now we're gonna put it in a low Earth orbit. I am hoping for around 100,000 meters. 
I like I like that number. It's nice and round. Okay, SAS on. Throttle up just for when we have to switch stages. I don't want any surprises. And three, two, one. Blast off. We have lift off. Stay put, Nick. Is off the ground. Things are looking good. It's going really fast. And we've still got a lot of fuel left. The winglets are keeping it on course, which is awesome. I was a little worried. I forgot to put winglets on my last craft and it just walked all over the place. So this is looking good. This is a good little uh, payload lifter. It's definitely overkill though. It would be ridiculously expensive if you were to actually try and lift satellites with something that big. Thanks for the ride, fellas. All right, we're slowing down, but that's because we're pushing a lot of weight and a lot of wind resistance. So as soon as we can either push through the atmosphere and or shed fuel, there we go, it's, it'll start accelerating. And we are accelerating. 225 meters a second, 230, 235, coming on fast, 240. Things are looking good, all right. So we'll put this first one at a 90 degree orbit. And then we'll put the next ones at a 135 and a 40. So they're kind of, you know, getting a good coverage of like the entire world. And then our little Kerbal friends down there will have cellular coverage and, and Wi-Fi and all that fancy shit. Some GPS on their tom-toms. Whatever Kerbals sound like. I'm sure Kerbals have their celebrities. And then you can, you can download the, the Bill Kerbman celebrity voice on Tom Tom. Make a left here. Okay. We're at 30,000 meters already because we're pushing no weight. These giant rockets are just friggin' flying. Literally and figuratively. I'm speaking metaphorically, but yes, that is a literal interpretation. We are flying. We're about to hit space, but another 10,000 meters or so. Orbit's starting to take shape. Speed's good. We want to see about 25 or so, I think, before we'll Get close to an orbit. Apoapsis is at 100,000. We're going to be able to sculpt that later with the uh, the nuclear engine. What we got to do right now is just sort of get up to speed and then let the nuclear engine take over. Like I said, we'll be able to sculpt that later. I just want to get the periapsis. We've got so much fuel to burn that we will just do it and then get the periapsis around to 100,000 meters. This is not how NASA would do it at all. But here at the Kerbal Space Program's Experimental Research Division, we have so much funding that we can just blow fuel like this. All right. We're going to fly way out. This is how we're going to sculpt our orbit. Way out here, we're going really slow. 500 meters a second. We're going to put our butt to the wind. Oh no, I don't want to slow down. I want to speed up. Sorry. Sorry. I want to make that periapsis bigger, and obviously not smaller. My bad. My bad. I do that once in a while. Fuck up. Fuck around. Oh, I think we're out of fuel. 
Thanks for the lift. That was awesome. Okay. Focus. We want to see that orbit get up to about a hundred thousand or so. There we go. And then we do the same thing again. Just fast forward it a bit. Let the craft come around. And it's going to speed up, so you always want to move your zoom speed down as you get closer. Because eventually it just gets this awesome little whip effect. And now we punch it and bring Apoapsis down to about 100,000, and that should make a round orbit. This is a very crude method, but again, here at the Experimental Research Division, the ERD, we have tons of money. We have trillions and trillions and trillions of civilian tax dollars to spend at whatever dastardly whim we have. I want to build a 50-foot high robot. Sure, go ahead, Tom. I want to build a Death Star. Steve, go ahead. Whatever you want to do at the Kerbal Space Program's Experimental Research Division, it's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory here. You can just do it. Resources be damned. Alright, the nuclear engine doesn't have a lot of oomph, but goddamn is it fuel efficient. We've barely made a a dent. We've used like 8% of our fuel. Okay, 95, that's good. We're going to go all the way around to Periapsis at 95 and do more sculpting. and 92. That's friggin' flawless. Okay. So we will disembark from our nuclear engine. It's looking good. Things are looking good. Altitude's holding. Facing the sun. Nice, with a nice balance of RCS and ASS. We have put a satellite, a comms satellite, into orbit. We should feel pretty good about ourselves. That's a monumental task for such an inferior species. The science isn't very good up here, but it's been fun. So. By the time we roll around to the next video, I will, um, I'll probably cheater launch two more of these to put them in orbit. So guys, if you like the video, follow the, uh, follow the link that drops down there from, from the top and even give it a copy and paste, put it in your Facebook, spread the shit around. The shit's gold. It's hilarious. Spread the love. Guys, until next time, cheers. <laughs>